Hey guys, welcome back to Candid Cloud Convos. We are your hosts that you'll hear every week, Gina and Emilita. And today we have a special guest, a very special guest. Okay, so we have to give you like a very formal introduction. We have to introduce you the right way. My beautiful, lovely, wonderful, I'm gonna just hyper up for five minutes now. <laughs> My beautiful, talented cousin, Taylor at blowgetter aesthetics underscore we'll leave it in the description below i voted on that one by the way love that name by the way oh thanks thanks of course but yes we brought her on because she has a small business and she's a whole business woman ceo a boss babe <laughs> and we wanted to the nine to five. a little bit and ask her some questions because obviously a podcast is a small business too but it's very different from like a business that you're actually running like you do right so we wanted to ask you some questions and share the knowledge with other people but let's just get into some cheese my chatter beach we gotta first start off because this is breaking news today it's what the 10th of mm -hmm. January. I think it happened yesterday, right? I'm sorry, the 9th of January 2022. Yes. <laughs> um, Not a laughing matter. I'm so sorry. You know, okay. <laughs> we're, we're laughing at ourselves, not this, not what I'm trying to say. Bob Sackett passed away. I'm so sad. I saw. I was like, that's so sad. We lost Betty, we lost mom and dad, Betty White and Bob Sackett. Right. I know. I can't. So R.I.P. Bob Saget. If this is not foreshadowing for the rest of the year, I just can't. I know. Please stop. Do not say that. No. I'm just being honest. I have hope. I can. But I'm being honest with what I think. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't even say that. We need so, a better year. Also, did you guys see on TikTok the Anne Hathaway conspiracy? I have not. No, I'm I have to hear it. Oh my god! So, let me find the video so I don't tell you a conspiracy anything. though. Yes, a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say I like Anne Hathaway. Is it a bad conspiracy? I know, right? I never hear anything about her. No, yeah. I like her too. It's it's nothing okay. bad. It's nothing bad. Not like something she did. They think that she is someone else. What? Like a time traveler. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, okay. They think she is, and I quote, hold on. Son of a bee, where the, you know, I hate when I like something. Oh, just <laughs> she's about to talk shit. Girl with <laughs> big old eyes. Yeah, I was like, when I fucking <laughs> like something on TikTok and I can't fucking find it. It is right, and then you're sitting there. And it's for always like when you're wanting to show somebody. To find it, and you're like, hopefully this person forgot. Yeah, it's <laughs> always when you need to show someone or fucking like re do something yeah so it just so happens that Anne Hathaway's husband is basically William Shakespeare's twin okay oh okay mm -hmm. I think I have heard this or seen this video oh also William Shakespeare was actually married to a woman named Anne Hathaway what so is she what like that was her name and they look they look very identical. I don't know if you can see that well. What the fuck? Oh my god. They look hella alike. Mm -hmm. I'm shook right now. So, so maybe a start. Oh my god, they found each other in different lifetimes. What a fucking love story. Right? I think that's what the video I think that's what people are saying in the comments like a different lifetime. Yeah. Wow. People are saying that are they time travelers? Are they immortal for some reason? Vampires, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I think that's the gist of the video. But yeah, basically Anne Hathaway and her husband look like William Shakespeare and his once wife, Anne Hathaway. That's crazy. I had never seen that video, but that's dope. Spooky vibes. That's crazy. So in both lifetimes too, they're successful. They also believe that Katy Perry is John Benet Ramsey. Yes. Is what? John Benet Ramsey. Why? Uh, because they look a fuck ton alike. <laughs> Yeah, and they would be the same age. So she just came back as a girl. Oh my god! This is they were basically trying to say that it was staged so that Katy Perry, the Katy Perry, uh -huh. could be Katy Perry. Yeah, so she could be famous. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. wow. like she sold her soul you know i don't i don't think i believe that one though i don't know that's stretching that's yeah that's stretching reaching. street stretching reaching stretching, whatever reaching. you want to say <laughs> it's definitely a stretch for sure and also i have a very funny story to tell you guys okay so. i've been dying to hear this because you brought it up to me what a couple of days ago yesterday and i'm like i want to fucking know <laughs> yeah but i wouldn't tell her the actual story <laughs> She wants okay. a genuine reaction. Yeah. Let me set the scene, okay? Okay. <laughs> it was last week sometime. I don't remember when. And me and Chev were bored. So we went for a walk. And then we were still bored. So we left Rex here. We continued walking. And we were just like walking around the neighborhood. Just we didn't want to be home for some reason. The weather wasn't too cold. So we're like, whatever, fuck it. So we're walking around, whatever. Then we got tired of walking because we're like, we really are walking with no destination, right? So we're like, let's just, so um, basically we were like, let's just go chill in the car, okay. listen to some music. Mm -hmm. And then um, we were parked there, but he likes to okay. back into parking spaces so we could see out, right? Mm -hmm. So why, why in the fudge does my neighbor get dropped off by her mans and they're, they're, we're like a T. Like if if Chev would have went into drive, we would have T-boned them kind of situation. That's how the cars were parked, right? But we're farther away. I'm just setting the scene for like how the cars were positioned. Yeah, yeah. Remember, <laughs> he backs in, okay? So we can see them. We can see their car. We can see them. And we're at first, we're like, okay, whatever. Like they're just going to get dropped off or she's just going to get dropped off, whatever. Bitch, why they start making out? It's not even dark outside. Why they start making out? No. And me and Chef are directly uh, like just staring at them because literally just staring because where are we supposed to go? Watching. And then it started getting very awkward. They're like, we have to stop right here and do it right They're now. They're making out inside or outside of the car? Inside the they car. They said right here, right now. Okay. But it was very awkward because literally we're facing them, the only car, the only people inside the car. And at first I didn't think that they knew we were in the car. So we're like, okay, yeah. whatever. So then it progresses and all I see is her head moving and shit. And I'm like, <laughs> got to be they are not, they, they don't, they don't know we're here. They do not know we're sitting here. So me and Chev are like, this is so cringe. And you know, secondhand. And why are they blocking your car? I don't know. Like why you didn't just pull into a parking, park parking spot? Space? I couldn't tell you. There's like a long street on the outside too. Like they could have very well did it out there. Who knows? But <laughs> I'm just like secondhand <laughs> embarrassment, cringe feeling, right? Like I don't want to keep looking, but I don't know what else to do. And I can't get out of the car now because then they'll know we were can't watching. Drive away. Exactly. So we decided we have one option. <laughs> Let's just put the seats back and then they can't see us and we'll just wait it out. Y'all 15 minutes. Damn. 15 minutes. <laughs> of us just sitting there and chef's like he can look and he can kind of like watch what they're doing but i'm too short once i put the seat back i couldn't see nothing so i didn't want to purposely you knock on the window my head up because then they would see me right <laughs> right oh my god bro they just kept going at it yeah. and i was like yo this is so cringe <laughs> like what the you are getting dropped off and then what are i supposed to do get out the car like yo it was so freaking like secondhand cringe that's so gross if i were to see oh that's awkward i just don't understand why they didn't park in a parking space i just yeah i don't know and then when the girl got out of the car the guy was still parked there for a cool maybe two three minutes after that and i'm like is he just like having to get his life back together like what happened in this car it literally looked at first like they were breaking up. Like, it looked dramatic. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I should not be watching this. Oh, man. Just full on. From breaking up to head. I thought they were going to go in the back seat, bro. Like, it was something. It was very much something. But oh, I man. felt like I had to tell you guys because it was so funny. That's so awkward. Yes, it was. Ew. Secondhand embarrassment. And the little hint that I gave to Gina was that I was spying on my neighbor. But it wasn't purposely. And that's pretty much what happened. Love that for me. Love that for you. I have a, I have a story like that. Oh my god! From high school. I was gonna say recently. Shut up. No. <laughs> whatever. This whatever. couple that used to go, they used to go to the same spot every lunch, every day for lunch, and they would like sit there. I know who they are. Oh man. 
hundred percent. I know who you are. Who are you oh, talking about? Where, 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 where? Well, there where was a school? lot of couples like that, but there was one. Oh, no, 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 but like <laughs> couple that used to go <laughs> in this certain hallway, and they would be damn near fucking Oof. in the hallway. You know exactly okay. who I'm talking about. Yes, I do. Yes, the fuck I do. <laughs> no, okay. It's not. It's not that couple. It's not that couple. It was like the randomest couple. And one day, like before it would just be like, they were hit, you know, just hanging out. Right. Right. And coupley shit. Mm-hmm. And then one Coupley day they shit. got real, I don't know what happened, but they got real, um, spicy, let's say. Promiscuous. Yeah. And mm-hmm. they were full on first off, like full blown making out, but not like making out, but like sucking face. Right. And so you can see the like, like back and forth, each other. right. Eating each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then she like puts her face in his neck. And it's like, I don't know, she's biting his neck. I don't know, but she was doing something on his she's neck. She's a vampire. And his hand was in her pants. And I didn't she know. No fucking at school. I didn't notice at first because I was so like looking at them, just eating each other's face that I didn't realize his <laughs> hand was there. And I was like, Yo. holy shit. We were sat right in front of them. They oh, had no yeah. shame. No at shame. School, we were, bro. yes, at school, we were sat mm-hmm. right in front of them. Like could see the whole, they weren't hiding from anybody. <laughs> Exposed them. <laughs> I, was, I was like, Exposed y'all are some them. freak Exposed freaks. <laughs> I have no idea who they are. I literally, oh yeah, I don't know who any of those people. So I would not imagine know. they're still together. You know what? Props if to they're them. still together, then maybe he knew what he was doing. I, yeah, <laughs> I was like this is how I'm gonna keep my woman. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I gotta In let her know year. that even at school, <laughs> before she goes to her math class with her ex, you're a priority, <laughs> shoddy. <laughs> You're a price. You know that TikTok sound? I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. I gotta put, I gotta put me first, Lucius. I'm fucking oh, dead, dude. That's, that's hella funny. Oh my god, there's this TikTok that um me and um Taylor, you met her, I think. I was like, maybe oh, you? you met her. I'm like, no, you haven't been at the last couple parties. No. I did no, my friend Taylor oh, from, from um, school. Mm-hmm. beauty school yeah she we send this video back and forth to each other on tiktok it's hella funny i'll find okay. it, send it to you guys if i can find it i know because if um, you didn't like it you're not gonna find it the sound <laughs> right uh, the sound um literally goes uh men are stupid and i don't respect them and it's hella <laughs> funny and the video is literally like a girl sitting on her bed with like an lgbtq flag behind her and uh-huh. the caption is um when you just got hella money from your sugar baby or so, or from your sugar daddy or something like that, or from all these men, something, I'll have to send it to you guys, but it's hella yeah. funny that she has the, and she's literally lesbian. <laughs> and she's out here bagging them sugar daddy. Yes. Oh, that's hella Period. I just, <laughs> it's all a business. And then, and then she attaches the sound that coin. says men are stupid and I don't respect them. And I'm like, oh my God, it's hella funny. But they're going to pay me. That is all a business. And speaking of businesses, you like that to goof? I like that. I thought that was good because <laughs> I feel like it's really cool like it's very really it's really admirable and like inspirational because so many people in our generation want to be like go the like entrepreneurial route which I think it's dope it's really cool but um yeah and then like we but see it all on social America. media and all that stuff ex- ex- right and like we see that on social media and I remember I seen yes. a TikTok that was like like I I quit my nine to five and to start my own business and it's like and now I work 24-7. It's like, fuck. No, literally. But like that was, that is the yeah. Truth yeah. And so like, I wonder like, what's the reality of like owning a small business? But you're right about the whole 24-7. People think that when you start a business that you can make your own hours, which is true. But people don't realize that you're going to be constantly working, even if you're not physically doing something for a client. Um, so basically the business that I run is a beauty business. Um, so I'm about to be a licensed esthetician so I can go ahead and be fully licensed and insured. <laughs> and um, I'm also lash certified and peel certified as well. So I offer facials, waxing, lashes, and makeup services. Um, I'm going to be starting to offer more brow services like brow lamination, brow Ooh. tint, mixing in with brow waxing. Can't wait. Um, so I'm really doing the damn thing. That. Yeah, I'm super excited to start that. So basically kind of with the business that I run, like you're constantly working, even if you're not with a client, like you're not going to obviously work 24 seven with Mm -hmm. a client all the time, but the business will never run if you don't do the behind the scenes. Um, So you have to keep up your Instagram, you have to make your booking account, 
you're constantly making posts and I put it like in my notes, I organize all my comment or my responses to people or I didn't even think of that. Like my post comments, like when I post something and I write like the whole status with it, right. um, I try to plan that out. So I'm not like struggling on the fly, but kind of just people don't realize how much planning actually goes into websites and trying to gain clientele and trying to make sure that all the services that you offer are top quality. Right. And like networking. That's a huge thing, yeah. especially on social media. Right. Definitely. I feel like without social media, most businesses wouldn't be able to excel as much as they do. There wouldn't be able to have as many small business owners. Definitely. That's like where you find everybody. That's where you bring them in. Yeah, exactly. And networking is the most popular thing, social media, but also when someone comes to you and they go home and they tell their friends and then those people tell their the friends, and the word of mouth yeah. is also extremely huge in the beauty industry, but also other small businesses as well. Right. And I think it's more about like just you as a person too. Like, yes, they're coming to you for a service, but at the end of the day, it's the way that you make them feel and how you treat them too, that they'll be, that'll make them keep coming back. Yeah. yeah. Respect them. And, exactly. You know, you have fun with it. Yeah. Another thing is that not only do you have to provide a good service, everybody wants to obviously, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I want to go get my nails done or my hair or whatever, any kind of beauty services, I like to look at their, I want to see if they have an Instagram and I want to look through all of their pictures yeah. and, you know, yeah. I want to see like what their work looks like, you know, if they have reviews yeah. and stuff, do your research, um, mm -hmm. you want to do your research a little bit, but also I look now that I've gone to school and I've done all these extra certifications and courses and all this outside knowledge out of the already 600 hours that I put into school, um, right. you want to go to somebody that is also like educating you right you don't want to just go to someone who like that's great they have beautiful lashes but do they know how to sanitize their tools after mm -hmm. because that's just as important as the service itself exactly so I feel like that's how girls be leaving with like infections and yeah mm -hmm. infections yeah. and stuff and and you don't you don't realize but that sanitation comes into a very huge thing like you learn so much right. of that in school uh, most of the licensing exams are about sanitation. Um, but not only just that, you want to educate your clients. Like if you're offering a facial service and you want me and you're trying to upsell me on $20 to add this mask, well, exactly. why do I need that mask? What is it going to yeah. do? You know? And obviously people, one, one thing I don't like is when people always come up to me, they're like, oh my gosh, you're an esthetician. Like, tell me about my skin. <laughs> like everything, this, 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 that. And it's like, okay, I need to be in my professional environment with right. my my light and yeah. my tools and I need to be able to really look at your face and also a lot of people do that so then they can go and like just buy all the stuff yeah. themselves and do it at home and now right. they don't right. want your service taking so advantage you got to be kind of careful giving yeah. out your knowledge yeah so you want to put out enough information to educate your clients but also keep some things that you want to discuss only if they're going to be a client yeah right especially with skincare because if you're trying to help them with a certain problem or something you know one visit might do the trick, but maybe not. Like maybe they do have to do something at home that would better benefit the next appointment that they come see you with, you know? Oh, absolutely. Like home, if you're going to come in and get a facial and you really want to see improvement in your skin, if you're not going to buy stuff to do at home, mm -hmm. there's kind of just no point. Yeah. Like, and people expect result, immediate results in one sitting, but yeah. My favorite thing that I always see when people try to say, oh, I want all this acne on my face to go away by the end of the facial, you know, right. and it's just not, I want to look 20 years younger. I hear that every time I go to do a facial on oh someone that's of elder You're like, age. I don't got a magic eraser. And I know they try to make it a joke <laughs> and it's funny, but yeah. like, and like, you're not, I can only help certain things yeah. without it being surgery, you know, or right. Botox. And, and in one walk, like there's no way. And, I know. Yeah. And we can definitely improve your skin, but you have to be willing to spend that money on home care because it's like 80% home care and 20% what I do right. um, mm -hmm. to be able to get the skin that you want. And you have mm -hmm. to th kind of think of it as, do you go to the gym one time and expect to be BBL? this no. <laughs> big BBL figure right no so why are you gonna go into a facial and expect to look 10 years younger you when you've been one time you know yeah right like you got to be consistent sense. yeah exactly. you have to be consistent and depending and some people do get them just like they don't want to help their skin they just want to have a facial and that's fine too but as long as they understand that's all they're going to get out of it is just a relaxing experience right yeah yeah which it is
actually one time I did get one and that shit hurt. Did you get extractions? <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. The extractions baby girl was hurt. going in oh, yeah. on me, bro. That shit hurt so bad. I have bad. to stop myself. I have to stop myself because yeah. I know it's hurting because I've gotten yeah. it and it hurts. <laughs> but you're like, please get it out. But like, just, yes, you, there's no other way, you know? Yeah. I always split mine up. I, I do a, I do like a good amount until I feel like, okay, they really can't take it anymore. Mm-hmm. And then I stop. Or if I feel like the skin is starting to look like it's going to get damaged, then I stop. Uh-huh. Cause yeah. you don't want to like further make it worse yeah, exactly. or something like that or irritate it. Yeah. Exactly. But I know you were mentioning about like your website and Instagram and like keeping up with comments and what you want to post and the content that you post. How do you keep yourself organized? Like how the hell do you find the time or tools to, to keep organized? Since I'm new at running my business, you know, I haven't had a business for too long, but kind of what I've done is to take just a few minutes. Like if I can only do five minutes a day, it's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. And I try to, I write a lot of things on my notes. So I have a lot of note pages. I like to write all of my posts. Like I get together my photo that I want to use. And then I write my post all kind of in my notes so I can kind of organize it, mess with it. Sometimes I'll leave it there for a day or two and add something, go back. But picture wise, um, I like to do a lot of like collage type things and different types of editing styles, like a zoomed in portion, Mm -hmm. farther out portion of video sometimes, or sometimes I'll, it won't even be of my work at all. It'll just be information because like I said earlier, you Mm got to educate your clients if you want to be able to keep them as a client. So the app that I use for my picture editing um, and my picture collage type, I use Canva. You can get it on um, the app store or Google store for Android, I believe. I also do use Facetune. Um, I like to blur out the background of a lash client or a brow client, facial client, just to kind of really bring the focus to the actual work. So I really like to use those apps. Um, Mm -hmm. organization wise, I try to, I need to get better on a schedule. This is what I kind of like to do um, is to get on a schedule Mm -hmm. routine of posting. So let's say I post Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 AM or something like that. I want to try to create a schedule. And I know there's a few apps for that as well. Um, I kind of got to look around. I've been watching this other business owner and she posts a bunch of different websites you can use to kind of organize your posts so then it can automatically Mm -hmm. upload for you so you don't miss a post so like schedule it yeah so you can kind Mm -hmm. of schedule your posts so you can I think you can do that on Canva too Be a little bit more organized I think you can I haven't explored too much on Canva yet Um, I'm gonna be buying the pro version I believe it's called just you have to um link it to your Facebook in order to use Instagram and have it like schedule oh okay yeah. yeah, it's like twelve ninety nine a month, I think, but it's hell yeah. worth it. That's what we use for the post too. Yeah, that, that's what we use. I always use Canva, um, and then also on Pinterest, you can look up different templates. Mm-hmm. So you can look up for like my business, for example, you can look up esthetician green templates because my theme is kind of plant based, green, neutral colors, very like earthy. I love it's it. It's very like an earthy type. Yeah, calm vibes. So I could type in like esthetician or beauty green templates and Mm -hmm. a bunch of templates will pop up. And most of the time you can get a package of about 50 to a hundred to 250 Mm -hmm. depends on the package that you pick and you can just pay like 10 bucks or whatever. And you can use all those templates and rewrite and put your website, um, put photos on them. Really cool. Yeah. Instead of, if you didn't want to do Canva, it kind of gives you a a little bit of a different option as well. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's cool that like you said you used someone else's videos to get some of your websites from and things like that. Cause like what you look and what you watch also Mm -hmm. makes a difference in how you're going to run your business. Cause you get inspiration and tips and things like that. That's really cool. Yeah, exactly. Like I sit on the explore page so often just sitting there for 20 or 30 minutes. It's like, let me watch this last video on how she made this fan or let me watch how this person says it's a better way to build clients or this way to keep your books or you know, the prices that you have stick to right. them because that's what your work, you like, that's your work, you know, don't lower them for people and all these different little quotes and yeah. skincare little fads and all that kind of stuff. Like you're I like to keep up learning. on it because yeah. yeah, I'm constantly, constantly learning something new. And now that I've gone to school and learned the education behind all the stuff that I do, 
I can go and like look in the store and kind of read through some of the ingredients and see if I feel like this is going to be a good product or not and give recommendations if need be. That's hella cool. And with like seeing other people's videos and like what you learned in school, even with those, was there anything that no one told you about running your own business that you had to kind of learn the hard way, like learn yourself? Yeah, honestly, it's really the, that your business is 24 Mm seven. Like you, that quote is like so funny that people say that a nine to five, like, oh, I quit my nine to five, you know, so I can make my own hours, (laughs) but really you're working 24 seven, like not physically, but in your head, you're always working. You're always thinking about something you can do better for your business. Right. So I feel like I never realized like how much time it really takes and how much commitment and how much you actually have to want it to be able to succeed. Because your small business turns into like your whole life. Yeah. If you let it, you don't have your boundaries of when you want to just, you know, be with your family or just chill, you know, that kind of thing. Because you're running everything. Exactly. Exactly. Like Like, when you're working a nine to five, exactly. Everyone's taking different positions, but you're running your own business. You're taking every position. You're playing every role. Yeah. You're playing the accountant. You're the, you're the Instagrammer. You're the Mm -hmm. person on the phone, on the emails, on actually doing the service. Right. And also, I think what people misunderstand is they see someone's page and they're like, wow, this person has like 2000 followers and they're a lash tech and they make six or seven figures or whatever. And you expect to be just like that. Yeah. Right. When you finish and mm-hmm. you're not going to be, I'm right. not like, Unless you're not you going to be, you like have to Miley have Cyrus to as a cousin and she can be like, hey right. guys, right. You know? <laughs> unless right. you got connects right. already, but mm-hmm. If you put in the work, then you will get clients, Mm -hmm. word of mouth, social media, also going to small business, like trade shows in the area, um, flea market type things, dropping Mm -hmm. your business cards at places and always having your business cards with you because literally somebody asked for mine the other day and I didn't have them. And I was like, oh my God. And (laughs) You know what I seen? I seen a video where they have um it looks like a pop socket. You have yes. it on the, obviously on your phone case yes. and it's a digital business card. Yes. So if oh, you don't no. have them with you, yeah, it literally someone just scans it and yes. they can have all your like the QR code. Yes. Uh, yeah. A lady That's that I saw dope. that I met the other day that was um friends with um Amanda. You know who I'm talking about, Emily? Amanda. Yes. Uh-huh. Um we went to her mm-hmm. divorce party and her um esthetician was there. <laughs> and I asked for she asked for my card and I didn't have it. So I just, Um, followed her on Instagram but she had something Mm. she didn't have her business cards with her like physical ones but she had Mm. this card and she tapped it to the back of my phone and a link popped up on my phone so I could click on the link and that was it brought me to her website I was like bro that was like a micro chip and that's so cool it was really really cool it was like a black card too I'm like oh you with your black card okay (laughs) You're like, you paying for my drink now or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I thought that was so cool. But I yeah. have seen those, um, like a phone case thing yeah. or the pop socket. It's crazy. To be able to put your QR code. Yeah. yeah. I think most people would just be like, oh, what's your Instagram? Like, let me follow your Instagram. But if you're out somewhere and maybe it's someone who you don't think would probably have Instagram. Or like someone older. Yeah. 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 Um, then that would make sense, you know? Yeah. Plus it's kind of cool. I feel like it makes it a little bit more, um, personable and the the business card. Um, but I definitely try to give my Instagram out. Obviously if people ask, it's normally teenage, like teenage, uh, young twenties that if they ask for my Instagram. Yeah. Right. I also seen this person that when they're going somewhere like the mall or the airport or whatever, they'll literally just airdrop whoever the fuck they can. Oh my God. Drop them a picture. And it's like their business or like whatever they're trying to do. And I was like, oh my God, that's kind of like, eesh. like, is that not weird? Because then it's going to show up like, and be like, okay, that's kind of like so cool. I think it so. is cool. It's a cool way to like reach a lot of people. But since the people get to choose if they accept it or not, that's yeah. And it's like, yeah, then I think that's it's true. okay. Yeah. 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 I was just going to say, you know how it like ends up in your photos or whatever? And they're like, what? Right. Oh my God, yes. like how did this happen? That's kind of perfect though. So that yeah. literally happened yeah. to me so many times at Disneyland. People kept airdropping me stuff. Are you no serious? Way. But I, I accepted it because I'm curious. Bro, I got like five. <laughs> me being hella chismosa. <laughs> you're like I'm nosy yes no literally <laughs> they literally airdropped me so many things like I've never had that happen to me before that's hella funny well 
baby girl, you better use it for your business. <laughs> right. I'm like, you know what? Next time I go to Disney. <laughs> Hey, to- Disneyland would be a good pl- a good place. Oh, I should have done it today in Costco. In yeah, Target. there's hella people there. So, what inspired you to start your own business? And I have a second part to that question. Okay. Why beauty? <laughs> okay. Ooh. I'll do the why beauty first. <laughs> so kind of because I'm beautiful. No. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, the beauty one. Well, I when I was in high school, I kind of was always interested in makeup and mm-hmm. I thought I was interested in hair. I have found out later that I hate hair, but <laughs> um, but I kind of started with makeup and I did prom makeups. I did some bridal makeups. Um, I did some just regular just events or school dances, a bunch of different makeup events. Um, I traveled to different cities to do them as well. So I was really into just kind of making, like I wanted to make a business where people could feel good about themselves. And to know that it's okay if you want to mm-hmm. have lashes and that's what you think is beautiful to you, you know? Right. I wanted to have something that is kind of like a therapy sesh too. It really is too. Like whenever I do people's lashes or facial, not as much facials because like yeah, product can get in your mouth, but definitely with lashes or waxing and stuff, you have a full conversation with these people most of the time. Most people right. want to talk to you. Most <laughs> people want to have a conversation, you know? It's like their me and- time. And it's their, it's their them time, but also, mm-hmm. um, they don't know you, they, and you don't, most of the time yeah. they don't know you and they don't know people that, you know, or, you know, people that they know most of the time, you know? Right. So like, they feel stupid. Yeah. Comfortable. Like this one lady before told me that she ended up dating a serial killer. Whoa. Oh my God. I swear to God. Swear to God. I have to tell that story. Can you please yes. come back yeah. on the podcast and tell us that story? Yeah. Oh my God. You're like esthetician <laughs> yeah. slash psychologist. No. Guys, I love she that. asked me if we could watch true crime podcast and then uh, it went from that to you she dated a serial baby. killer that lived in livermore in lived, livermore yep, or lives lived he's in jail now okay good to know he served his time yeah that's for another day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's crazy yeah but you hear about so many stories you hear people really do open up to you and they and they kind of use it as a therapy sesh but you just you know want to be kind of careful like talking about people's things that they come to you kind of in private you know so you really kind of want to keep try to keep as many things as you can confidential because a lot of the times it yeah. there people mm-hmm. really do vent their lives out to you um so I like being right. I like being a person that like people can talk to and people can relate to they're just spilling all the tea. I also share things you know about myself too because I don't want them to feel like they're the only mm-hmm. ones that are sharing you know I like them to feel you know comfortable obviously you don't have to share what you don't want to share if people want to talk to me about something, I'm pretty open about it. So yeah, they're like Taylor, teach us how to twerk, and you're like, I got it. I'm like, I got, I got you. you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> right after these lashes, <laughs> let me open. Hold on, let me open my tab. Let me open this folder. Let me show you. <laughs> you're like, only open your one other eye that I'm not doing right now. <laughs> let me pencil you in. <laughs> I've attached all these screenshots. In. Right. Yes. <laughs> but kind of the reason that I wanted to start my own business, like as a whole, is well, being really young. I like didn't really know what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to be a teacher. I kind of wanted to be a nurse. I kind of wanted to be in the beauty industry. And kind of when I was younger, beauty industry was kind of talked down on that you don't make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. You like, it's just not as important. Mm-hmm. It's not a necessity. It's not a real like, it's job. It's not a real job. You can't really make real money off of it. Lies, lies, lies. And, and it's lies. Like, it really is lies. Like you can make so much money by going to school for 600 hours or 1400, whatever program you're trying to do or licensing, it's all different, but you can make so much Mm -hmm. money. I mean, it's not just about money, but also you you can make your own hours, like you said, physically to do Mm -hmm. your work. And also it's so rewarding to see a client walk out of your space, feeling not only relaxed and happy, they got to vent a little bit or take a nap or whatever, but also they love the results that you mm-hmm. gave them. They feel good about themselves. And yeah, even if you don't make a bunch of money, at least you're doing a job that's rewarding mm-hmm. and a job that you care about. So what Period. would you say is the most rewarding from what you do? I feel like the most rewarding thing is seeing the clients like look on their face mm-hmm. when you show them what I think is most helpful is to show them a before and after picture. Yeah. Um, obviously lashes and like brow laminations and stuff like that is very easy to tell. Like, a like, you know what your eyebrows look like before. And obviously you probably had no lashes before, you know, mm-hmm. but when you, you especially when you're doing a facial, <laughs> me, right. Um, 
especially when you're doing a facial it's very very important to do a before and after photo Mm -hmm. because a lot of the times how just like when you're losing weight you don't really see that difference other people can see Mm -hmm. it but you can't yeah and so I think it's really important to really take that before and after but the most rewarding thing is to see the look on their face when you show them the before and afters yeah um, or they get to look at the finished product of what you gave them and they're glowing they're happy they got to take a nap Mm -hmm. they got to vent they got to do all this stuff they got and time really away from see. the kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love we it. all need that sometimes. Right. We all need that sometimes. But yeah, just seeing the look on their faces, it's mm-hmm. like, it's amazing. I love it. I love seeing your posts when I see you have like a new client or you're just showing the progress. When you started doing the color, I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. I don't know. Yeah. I just love it. I have color right now. Oh, those are sick. Oh, you still have them? Oh, do you? Yeah, they're almost done. Then but pink. shout out to my friend Tay. Hey, my we'll friend leave, Taylor, she did my lasses. We'll leave both of your guys' Instagram. That's really in cute. Them, in the yes. description. Bio. This is Tay Ricelt Beauty. But go. I'll send you the things so you can okay. link her to. But she's in Livermore. So, how can others support small businesses, even without spending money? Like, how can anybody listening to this podcast support? I feel like if you aren't able to spend money on the business, whether it's a beauty industry or someone makes clothes or anything like that Mm -hmm. their social media you can follow them on social media you can comment on their posts if you share their posts give them shout outs Mm -hmm. also another thing is the word of mouth if you pass out their business cards or maybe you can't afford a facial for yourself right now which is totally understandable like facials are a luxury like they are considered a luxury item not everybody can always have them but if you can't afford it right now, maybe you just had a conversation with your neighbor at dinner and they're looking for somebody who wants a facial. Yeah. So you can recommend to them, hey, like this girl I know does facials or X, Y, Z sells this shirt or right. anything. Mm-hmm. And now mm-hmm. you got a customer and then I'm sure when they're able to, then now they're going to go to you as well. Right. That's so cool. It's like that is really cool. being able to spread the word to anybody because everyone, Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are into this, especially right now. Like after COVID and everything that yeah, um, people want or after quarantine, I should say, a lot of people invested in like their self care too. So it's like definitely now taking it to the next level, you know. So knowing yeah. the right people and knowing where to go to find the service that you're looking for, obviously using people that you know. Because if your best friend tells you you have to go see this girl who does these lashes and they slay and blah blah blah, you're gonna do it. You exactly know. you wouldn't so. go in I would not go and find somebody else like I would go to the person that the person recommended yeah exactly unless I exactly you know unless I already knew somebody but if you're obviously asking unless then we got beat no no yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> unless my friend doesn't like you right. I'm just kidding my but, bestie wouldn't have um, gone to you though <laughs> right exactly exactly yeah but also what you were saying was kind of you know finding the right person that knows what they're doing a lot of people don't know the mm-hmm. like kind of like analytics behind that like you need to be licensed you need to be insured I know a lot of people do do it without that which is fine like like my last check doesn't have it and I still go to her but yeah it's you know you just want to make sure kind of use your discretion and make sure that Mm -hmm. you're going to a good person that knows what they're doing whether they went to school or not yeah also and the sanitation like you mentioned definitely definitely sanitation but don't listen to um influencers online like I hear a lot of things like, oh, I want to mm-hmm. do skincare or I want to do this because like Selena Gomez said I should do that, you know, or, you know, any person on YouTube or any person on TikTok or Instagram or anything, they can literally, they 99% of the time, they have no idea what they're talking right. about. Right. They've they could, never even used yeah, the project they're only, the product they've never or whatever. Even, they probably have never used the product and if they have it's literally for the video that you're watching right right and it's like a brand deal or something like the sugar bear uh, hair yeah um, oh, the vitamins, those, yes, vitamins. Yes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> everybody was uh, doing biting that. on it all the video with them in their mouth I know they yep. didn't eat that <laughs> no literally biting on it I know they didn't even eat that it's like you really got to make sure that you're going to somebody that's professional mm-hmm. whether schooling or not make sure that they're professional and really listen to their advice because they wouldn't be saying it for just no reason. And they went to school for that. Just like how, let's say you need a lawyer, like you're not going to hire somebody exactly. right. who didn't go to school to be a lawyer. You're going to hire a lawyer right. because they know what they're talking about. You're not going to sit there and question them. So why would we question our Period. beauty care professionals Listen as well? to them. Obviously there's probably some out there that 
are in it just for the money but like you said you're in it mm-hmm. for so much more and it's a oh, passion yeah. for you it's like fulfilling you know and you can see the difference between people who are doing it yes. as a passion Absolutely. and people who are doing it just for the money yeah a hundred percent especially yeah, in their social media definitely. page in general definitely. Like you, you can really tell have when to be someone passionate puts about it time and energy into their yeah. aesthetic of their page of replying yes. to comments like you said like you can definitely yep. tell we're getting there absolutely we're having a little revamp coming soon. yeah <laughs> that's okay that's okay we just never take fucking pictures together so it's really yeah. hard to be consistent when we don't have consistent, any photos yeah. together it's like we'll be like oh yeah we have to take pictures and then don't do it well you got what you guys need to do one day what you guys need to do one day is one day just have hella different outfits and go different places and take hella pictures so then you can have all those pictures for all the times that you aren't able to get together. Yeah, we really do need to do that. Yeah, girl, that sounds like a great idea. But when in in reality, when we're there together, for some reason, and we said that just never happened. No, I know. We need Taylor, our manager. <laughs> we were like, we're like, okay, we're gonna have to literally plan a whole day just to do yes. only TikToks, only yeah. pictures, like, like all content. Because if we try to plan other stuff. Around literally that we're going to do all those other yes. stuff and never do the pictures exactly. never get around to those what i what i do yeah. is i just put my um like pictures all in canva like i make hella different canva posts and i save them all for later uh-huh. or i put hella or i make like little collages or did like the magnifying right. stuff on certain That's stuff smart. and i make a lot of them yeah and then like i randomly like post not well it's kind of randomly right now but it needs to be on a schedule but anyways it's randomly right now post them and just see what times it does the best. Yeah, I need to go on that. Right. Yeah. Do little analytics and reports. Insights and, and all that. This is Tuesdays at 11 to yeah. 4. Really? I don't know That's why. That's funny. Yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 to 4. That's hella funny. But yeah, so I just put mine for later. So then you can just kind of pull them up when Whenever you, you aren't able to do it. Yeah. yeah. That's honestly really smart. Like taking a whole weekend, like whether it be the weekend before we take all the content and then that next weekend or the next day, like take a Sunday just to make all the posts and like think of all the captions and just organize our whole entire life. Yeah. That would be smart. (laughs) We should all do it. So that's a tip, guys. That's a tip. Even if you're just trying to grow (laughs) your social media, I think that's a tip too. Because honestly, I feel like social media itself, Instagram, it's a business. It is. You can turn your Instagram into a business. Yeah, definitely. Whether or not you do outside services, like anybody can use these tips. Oh yeah, definitely. If you just want to be an influencer and you'll just do like ads online. Yeah, baby, they pay a lot of money. People make heck of money from that. People make bank. Mm -hmm. They really do. They really do. It's insane how much money people can make on Instagram. Yeah. I was telling Gina, I watched this Q and A where they were doing like only questions where they've never answered the question before and they've purposely avoided answering the question. Mm -hmm. And the girl got asked like how much was the biggest brand deal you've ever had and she said 80 grand and it was for one or two instagram picture fo- like post god i'll take that picture right now I know. <laughs> eighty thousand dollars i was like what do you want me to do right? i will take the picture upside down like <laughs> for two I posts like, only not even like an instagram story dude, a tiktok like, a- right oh my god that's crazy no a that's real insane. no none of it and I heard now, I don't know if everyone can do it, but I watched a video Nas was doing and she said that um, I just that watched that reels. You can make money doing yeah, reels now. Just or they offer too. money for it. Oh yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. I've so I don't know that. if it's for anybody mm-hmm. or just like already established influencers, but she mentioned that in her video today. Or I don't know if it was today. I seen a thing that was saying how like important reels are now because yeah, like you can also that. make yeah. money from it, money but it's really made, popular. Guys. Like people are just really liking reels. Right. A lot of people just turn their TikToks into reels. Yeah. And yes. then boom. Yeah. We need to start doing reels of like the podcast, mm-hmm. but like when we're actually showing yes. visuals. So then we can put That's little like clips of like the uh-huh. funny parts or like really inspirational parts and then put them on TikTok because that would probably help a lot. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Oh my God, Taylor, you will fucking die. Yeah. We have listeners in fucking England. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's hella cool. <laughs> And we just found the cities today. Yeah, we that found the so cities. Cool. Or I just found out the cities today. Yeah, that I found it like so a couple cool. days ago. But it's okay. I found it today too. <laughs> I had to refund it because <laughs> I didn't know where it was. Oh yeah, she's like, oh my god, this is so cool. It's the best thing. You're gonna be so excited. <laughs> Twenty minutes later, it's somewhere here. <laughs> I couldn't find it. And she's like, is it not in the like, dashboard? Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> oh my god, that's Boom, he- found that it. is hella cool though. 
Yeah, it's really freaking exciting. <laughs> That's so exciting. I, I love can't that wait to be guys. like to have you come back and you're like, yeah, so I've had my business for five years and now well, I, I manage know. businesses. No. <laughs> you know, now I just have five salons. Right. Ooh. You're yeah, in manifest talk your shit. I just need one. Gina, <laughs> yeah, you're like, let's start with one. Let's start with one. Yeah. Gina, do you want to ask your last question? Yeah, to wrap it up with the last question. What is your some advice that you would give to anyone listening that wants to start their own small business? Um, go for it, honestly, because I feel Ooh. like a lot of people just see other people and they're like, oh, I can't do it because this person already did it. Well, that's so not true. Like, <laughs> if that was true, then there would be only one business for every single source and everybody would have to go the same thing. Right. right. But honestly, just really go you. for it. But another tip is also you can't expect to be like, almost famous in a way right away you can't expect Mm -hmm. to blow up your business to blow up for some people it does but a lot of those people have connects Mm -hmm. also they don't show Mm -hmm. on social media all the hardships that went into you see their Instagram post from January and then all of a sudden in May they have a store like you didn't see everything that went into all that so I really think that you have to create it and make it your own and you need to find like a little niche little niche Mm -hmm. I don't know what the word is Mm -hmm. (laughs) that I think these that other people don't. Nike. <laughs> right, Nike. <laughs> like you need to find something that other people don't. Or also going back to you really have to educate your clients. And or mm-hmm. if you run, yeah. that's for like the beauty industry. But for other businesses, like if you're if you sell t-shirts, like I don't know, but just go for it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like people, like right. people let exactly. whatever, whatever stop them. you're going to feel happy about. So it's like, just start it, just do it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And honestly, like yeah. I yeah. saw this one thing that said, oh, like this person wanted to be a nurse and they said, oh, well, that's four years of school. And the comment was like, well, you're still going to be four years older and now you're just not going to be a nurse. Yeah. So exactly. the four years is still mm-hmm. going to go by. Exactly. You're, regardless. you're still going to pass four, like, yeah hopefully you know you're everything you know good but like god bless god bless <laughs> yeah. god willing um, yeah like you're still gonna go through those four years so like why not yeah. now in four years instead of being exactly where you were then in four years be a nurse right. like you're still gonna go through four years right yeah exactly and time goes by so fast that it's like oh it does time does not wait for you no no it's it's either hop on the train or you're gonna or get, get left, off or like, you're gonna get pushed off yeah you know Or like Mm -hmm. you said, be four years down the line and still thinking, fuck, when am I going to start my life? Or what am I going to do with my life? Right, exactly. And then expect something like to happen overnight. You didn't do anything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was good advice. Like, obviously, like she said, you know, you can blow up overnight. Yeah. Like, if you know someone or just, just honestly, I think it's fucking luck. Yeah. 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 Especially with TikTok and social media. Nothing other than that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's luck. Yeah. A lot of it is luck. Nothing other than luck. Mm-hmm. and manifestation yes definitely definitely law of attraction mm-hmm. you know definitely. you gotta put in that hard work with the manifestation exactly yeah gotta do exactly. both gotta do Period. both definitely put in the hard work can't expect to be kylie jenner overnight right right we all can be kim kardashians of the family right oh, <laughs> okay should we get into our wisdom of the week yeah, let, what's the wisdom of the week, even though we've given so much wisdom already? I know, extra wisdom. <laughs> a bird sitting on a tree branch is never afraid of the branch breaking because her trust is not in the branch, but in her own wings. So always believe in yourself. I love that. So go for it. Yes. And go for it. Go for the business. Go for your dreams, your goals. Go for the opportunities. Yeah. Because it's a small business with big dreams period <laughs> you like that didn't you i'm just kidding love it <laughs> well thank you so much tay for coming and on thank you so much guys for having me thank you we're so grateful to have someone who we can like pick your brain about stuff that we're interested in and then yeah. share with other people and so many other people are interested in too yeah, and we say it all the time, almost in every podcast, if not every single one, we don't fucking know everything. So <laughs> we're learning just like you guys are. And we just want to share the knowledge because applied knowledge, Gina. Hey, is what? applied is what? knowledge. Yeah, I don't remember. Hold on. I have it in my notes. <laughs> I have it in my notes. I will tell you right now. Where is it? What is it? Do, 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 
apply knowledge. <laughs> it was something you told me, bro. Uh, I know, but what was the oh. quote? Oh my god. Knowledge ain't shit if it's not applied. Boom. <laughs> Pretty much. Up, like you can have oh, because knowledge, if you have the knowledge but you're not doing any, anything with it, it's not self-help, it's shelf help. Shelf help. So apply your knowledge and use it to do whatever it is you want to do. Period. It's not stored knowledge. It's exactly. applied knowledge. Applied knowledge. Period. Mm-hmm. Period. We're wishing you all the best week ever and sending you all the positive vibes. Be kind to yourself and others. Always. We'll <laughs> talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye.